How's it going guys? I'm gonna make a flower arrangement today for myself. I rarely do this um, and I decided that I want to make some flowers for myself. I have a small vase, not a very big one. Um, I'm gonna make just a little arrangement and fill it in with some of the things that are going a little bit more crazy on the property. For this I've just got my vase. I have some floral tape which I love using this stuff so much. It goes over the rim of this to make it so that I like don't have to use floral foam. And then I have my floral feed right here. This is the crystal clear, crystal premium flower food. That's what I'm gonna use. So um, let's go see what I can harvest. I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do. I would actually really like to use some tomatoes in a flower arrangement. I saw on Instagram today that somebody had done that. I don't remember who it was, but I saw it and it was really, really pretty. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to try doing that. So I don't know how long they'll actually last in a vase, um, but they were like still on their stem and everything. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. So I'm going to do that. And I don't know if I'm going to use zinnias. I don't think I want to use any zinnias. Um, I want to just try doing something a little more different than I normally do. So we'll see how this goes. I gotta go put some water in this. Actually, let me take you along while I go put water in it. And then we'll go over kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, my tray of pot is. <laughs> <laughs> my tripod's caught okay so let me camera's moving crazy let me take you guys over here to fill this up and then i think what i'm gonna use is a bunch of the mahogany splendor hibiscus and um tomatoes and then maybe a few dahlias I forgot my parameters. I'll be right back. Got him. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Normally what I do is I harvest a bucket full of flowers um, and then I make my arrangement. I think what I'm gonna do is make my arrangement as I'm going. I never do that. We'll see if it's more of a hassle than not. Also, normally I do one giant tape around the edge of the, um, around the vase and I didn't this time and I can already see it's coming up. That's going to be annoying. Okay, well, I'm not going to change it now. So let's go harvest some flowers. Okay, so the first one that I thought I was going to harvest was some of these. And I believe this is Cafe Ole, but she has some weird speckling. Let me show you guys this. She looks beautiful from a distance, but her petals look like this. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but I have a few other ones over here. So what I'm doing is picking out some of these older petals that are in the back of this to make it look a little refreshed. So still beautiful. Just pulled out some of these back ones right here. <laughs> also, I totally have to redo the tape. <clears throat> I knew I should have just done the ring around the edge. I didn't do it and it's completely come off. Let me go redo that really quick. <laughs> Okay, I redid it and I put tape around the edge of it here. And as you can see, what it does is it holds all of these larger flowers like right here in the center. Instead of like, if they weren't, they would just kind of like flop to the edge, all of them would. So this kind of keeps them staying upright and then you can really, really place them exactly how you want them. So I've got these three here, pretty. And I think I'm gonna go in with some amaranth and then some tomatoes, and then like deck the outside out with some coleus, I think. <laughs> we'll see. So, what I would like to do too is like a huge vase of amaranth. I have some really large amaranth pieces that are like way beyond being able to actually use them. So I think that they would be really pretty um, in a vase 
it's like, sorry, they're right behind you, so I'm harvesting them right behind you. But I think that they would be really pretty in a vase, um, like the large ones all together. I think that that would be really fun. Ooh, I should probably set this vase down. I'm gonna end up dropping it. I'm already spilling water all over myself. I want five pieces of this amaranth. Let me show you. Do, 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 do. This is the amaranth patch, and I have harvested so much from it. I love amaranth. Do you hear Lola? Okay, five pieces of amaranth. Let's tuck these guys kind of in the middle. So what I want is for it to kind of like flow. So have this like flow to it. Let me show you the other side. I think I need to move that. I need one more. See, I want to do an arrangement with these pieces right here. They're so big. That's ridiculous. That is perfect. Okay, what am I going to add to this? Let's go get the tomatoes. So you guys know I complain about summer all the time. It's like my least favorite season um, because we do hit like 113 and it doesn't really um, cool down. But this last week it's cooled down at nighttime and it's been so nice. We hit 103 is what we're hitting during the day, but then it's cooling down to like 65 at nighttime. I passed the gate. <laughs> And so it's been really nice that it actually cools down at nighttime. It doesn't feel so terrible and I can actually like come out here and get things done. Lola's not even in her house. She's been sitting by the hydrangeas all day long. So I don't know what her problem is. These are the tomatoes I'm gonna harvest. So the cicadas are going crazy. Um, these are the fall gold. And look at how pretty that is. So I'm gonna cut some of this off and then I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna grab two pieces. I love this. One is gonna go down. I think this one's gonna curve down and around and then this one is gonna go up. But I'm gonna cut this piece off and I'll, I'm gonna eat this tomato. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be so pretty. Oh, okay. You decided to go. Either way, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay. I love that. And then there's one going this way. And of course the video is not like that great right now. Um, when I go in, I'll get a better shot. But let's go find some more filler for this thing. This one right here is called Labyrinth. I want to grow a million more of these. And then this one right here is called Touche. I love both of these. Okay, and while this would normally be really weird to use, I think I want to try to use it to give some, like, movement, some more movement. This arrangement already has a lot of movement, but to like, just give a little bit more. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's fun. I'm gonna move these guys like that. So we have some big dahlias up front. It needs something else. Definitely need that, the coleus. You know, it's kind of fun doing this experiment, like doing something crazy, like adding tomatoes or 
um, using those crazy stems in a flower arrangement. It's not something that I normally do. We're gonna turn, especially when I'm making arrangements for other people. So I get to kind of play with this one. Um, do some like, like this. How do I have a dahlia all the way over here? Craziness. I think it's really fun. It needs some coleus in here. I think this dahlia might need to move. And it might need to go this way. It needs to go over here. And then I need coleus right in here. Let's add that. Okay, these are the proven winners. This is like Sedona Skies or something like that. And I love this rich color. I do long stems and then I pop off all of the leaves, just leaving the first four. Okay, love this. This is fun. This is weird. Um, I don't think I would ever give this to anybody because of um, this is my first time doing it. I'd love to learn more about using tomatoes and other things and um, I'm used to making very round and compact arrangements and I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and let things go crazy and wild and have some lots of texture but I think the coleus help. I think the different dahlias, dahlias have a very short base life usually like three to five days at max and these were already like towards the end of their life. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think it's fun. I especially love this guy all the way down here. I think that's kind of crazy. And then the tomatoes kind of start up here and then they swoop down and kind of come over to this side. I think it's a fun little arrangement. And this is obviously the back side, so I will make sure that it's kind of faced so it's like that. So that was fun. I normally don't get to make arrangements for myself. I could, and I probably should do it more, um, but I just don't. And it's it's fun. It's fun to play with like different textures and different things, things that I normally don't give to people. I normally don't give the dahlias because the vase life on them are so short, but I think this is fun. And I love the tomatoes. These are the sun gold variety. I called them fall gold in a previous video. Fall gold is the raspberries that we have. <laughs> I also want to talk to you guys about kind of being present and being grateful in where you're at. I do it often. I talk often on Instagram about those things and I very often forget to talk about those things here on YouTube with you guys. So um, I just want to go over, you know, being grateful. It's just one of my things that I've been really trying to be focused on this year is enjoy where we're at on this property. Um, I think I've talked about it one other time on YouTube, but um, you always look at everything that's so negative and so wrong with your garden. And like, you know, I look right here and I think, oh my gosh, there's so many holes in my garden. And you know, you look at the rest of it, look at this behind me. That is so insane that I've done this. It has been so much fun to have a cut flower garden right here in my own backyard. Um, I don't think I would have gone to it if it had been somewhere else, which I was looking at other property because I didn't want to turn our backyard into a cut flower garden, but um, worth it. I'm enjoying it. I love it. I'm having fun with it. It's been so much more work than I thought, but I enjoy the beauty. You look out the living room window and the view is absolutely amazing. So I'm trying to be more grateful for where the property is and how things are going and you know, it doesn't always have to go the right way. I lost a whole patch of zinnias. Oh my gosh. I lost a whole patch of cosmos, not zinnias. I always call them zinnias. Cosmos due to powdery mildew. I've never really truly dealt with powdery mildew on our property. There's a plant on our fence line. That's our neighbors that has powdery mildew. And I've never dealt with it on our property. And it totally took all of my cosmos. You win some, you lose some. And it doesn't matter because look at how many more other plants there are. I was looking forward to the Cosmos, but 
whatever. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I'm trying to do a little more chatting instead of speeding videos up and um, just getting to the point. I wanna be more present with how things are and enjoy you guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.